Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Math Bell Ringer. This is Mr. Geiger, and today is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. Let's go ahead and start with our first problem for today. So we are going to write a variable expression for the given statement. And that statement is half of the product of a number and five. So half of the product of a number and five. Go ahead and write your variable expression for that and come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we're going to find half of the product of a number and five. So what I'm going to look at here first is this half of the product. So a half of it might mean what? Either one half or we are dividing by two, right? Either of those. And we need to find the product of a number and five. So let's say we have 5x, okay? So we need to find a half of this, right? So it could be 5x divided by 2, or we could have 1 half 5x as well. Either one of those would be okay for your solution. So let's go ahead and move on to the next problem. So we're going to use the correct order of operations to solve this problem. And the hint is to use PEMDAS, okay? I know we've been practicing a lot on this, but let's continue with more practice. Go ahead and work on this problem. Come back whenever you're finished. And welcome back. So what we have here is we have PEMDAS, okay? So we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, okay? So the first thing we need to find is parentheses. We have parentheses right here. We're at 74 minus 38. We cannot do 4 minus 8, so we borrow from the 7, make that a 6. Turn the 4 into 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. So that would be 36. I'm going to rewrite everything else I have not yet done. The next thing I need to look for is exponents, and we have exponents right here. 7 squared is the same thing as saying 7 times 7, which equals 49. 49 minus 9 plus 36. Now, here comes addition and subtraction, right? <clears throat> I know in PEMDAS that addition is first on here, but when addition and subtraction come together, the order in which you complete these is the order in which they come in the problem reading left to right. So we need to actually do the subtraction part first. 49 minus 9 is 40 plus 36. So 40 plus 36 is 76. 76 will be our answer for this problem. Okay. Great job. Let's go ahead and move along here. Now we're going to turn this exponent into an expression. Okay. We're going to turn it into an expression. Go ahead and write your expression and come back whenever you're finished. All right, welcome back. So what we have here is we have seven to the fifth power and our expression here is going to be written with our base. So our base here is seven. And how many times we multiply seven goes by our exponent. So we need five sevens. There you go. So that is our expression for 7 to the 5th power, okay? That is our expression. All right, let's continue on. And here is our last problem for the day, okay? So you are going to be solving the function table for this equation right here, okay? So the equation here is y equals 35x, okay? So we need to plug in our values of x here in for x, and we're going to solve that, okay? So go ahead and find your answer for when we're solving for 36, and come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. So now what we have here is we need to plug in 35 times 36, right? When we have a whole number next to a variable, that means we are multiplying. So it's 35 times 36, okay? And I'm going to put that over here, 35 times 
36. 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Now we're going to put down our 0 because we're going to be multiplying by the 10's place. I'm going to cross out the 1's place and the number that we carried. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 1 plus nothing is 1. So we have 1,260. Okay, 1,260. Now let's go ahead and solve it for where x is 28. Come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. So we have 35 times 28. 35 times 28. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry the 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. I'm going to put down a 0 because I'm done with my 1's place, and I'm done with what I carried, and now I'm moving over to the 10's place. I'm actually multiplying by 20. So now I need to multiply 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Now I add 0 plus 0 is 0, 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 7 is 9, 980. Okay, now let's solve for where x is 17, okay? Go ahead and solve the problem and come back whenever you're finished. And welcome back. So now we're going to do 35 times 17. 35 times 17. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 3 is 24. And I'm going to carry down my 0 because I'm multiplying by 10 instead of just 1. I'm over in the 10's place. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3. Let's add 5 plus 0, 5. 4 plus 9, or 4 plus 5 is 9. 2 plus 3 is 5. 595. And that will do it for our work for today on this bell ringer. Come back tomorrow for another one, okay? Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next.